Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm taking a look at noise reduction software and I'm looking at DxO Pure Raw, Topaz Denoise AI, and the new On One No Noise AI, which I talked about in my first look video there. Three great products. They all work slightly differently. I thought I would just share some of the differences between them, show you the results on a couple of different photos, and talk about how I may use them in my workflow. Let's get started. The first one I'm going to look at is DxO Pure Raw, which honestly, it's a lot more than just noise reduction. It also has amazing optics modules, about 60,000 different camera and lens combinations, which can impact how it works and what happens to your RAW file in a good way. So it does a fantastic job with that. They've combined denoise with demosaicing. And so this has given you really great looking RAW files. I've got two photos here. I'm gonna hit process. You're pretty much never gonna change the customization here, which is one of the things to be uh, clear about with the product. It differs from Topaz, for example, where Topaz has multiple different modes and a couple of different sliders you can move around, more than a couple, a few sliders you can move around. And on one has a couple of different sliders, but it's a bit more simple. So I would say more sliders in Topaz, less sliders in on one, and here in DxO, really none at all. So you just kind of go in there and make your decision. Again, it's probably always going to be D prime. It's probably always going to be in D and G. That's another difference. This one you can save as a DNG, a raw file. You cannot do that in Topaz, but you can do that in On One. On One also combined demosaicing de and denoising. We'll get to that in a minute. The other thing to be aware of about DxO, it does not support Fuji raw files. The other two products do. I'm gonna go ahead and hit process. You can see it's telling me it's about 49 seconds. That's for both photos. Let's hit process, take a look at the results. I generally think of DxO as being kind of a pre-processor for your RAW files. If you use DxO PhotoLab, you actually don't need pure RAW because the noise reduction, lens correction, all that is already in PhotoLab. But if you're a DxO person, then you're going to probably want to stick with this because the technology is really good and has fabulous results on RAW files. But if you use other products like Lightroom or Photoshop, you can use Pure Raw to impact your raw files and edit them and then send that over to those applications and do your rest of your editing there. Okay, processing's done. I'm gonna hit view results. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into 100 on this raw file and we'll just take a look at this sunset. You can see it's done a fantastic job. You can also see how the lens correction has come into play there, but noise reduction looks fantastic in that sky, which by the way, you can see down below ISO 5000. And so you can see just an absolutely fantastic result. Let's look at the other photo. Close up shot of an old camera that I have. You can see down here below ISO 10,000. And you can see, once again, optics module coming into play, looking great, noise reduction completely gone, photo looks crisp and sharp. Honestly, just overall fantastic result. Let's go look at these two photos in Topaz. Okay, here we are in Topaz, and one of the things that I mentioned is you have various modes, standard, clear, low light, and severe. And so you might need to look at these different ones to decide which one has the best impact on your photo. Now, there's also a comparison view, which you can get to up here. Just click on comparison view, which I'm already in, and then you can go through and look and see which one you think has the best uh, impact on your photo. Note that it's a little bit slower to process. Anytime you make adjustments, it needs to recalculate, and there's an auto mode that will detect recommended settings for your image and apply them, but you can, of course, come in and adjust the amount of noise or sharpness that's applied to your photo. Here you can see the different modes. I think severe noise looks pretty good, so does clear, and in fact, I'm gonna click on clear, and you can change your comparison view. I'm gonna go side by side, so you can look at the original and the one edited in clear. There you go, looks fantastic. Now, one thing to note here is Fuji files will be supported, or are supported, I should say, in Topaz, whereas they're not in DxO. They are also supported in On1. We'll get to that in a second. I will say I've had Topaz Denoise AI since it came out. We're on version 3.1.2 you know, at this point, but it continues to improve, it continues to get constant updates, and it's gotten better and faster over time. So this is a third generation product that honestly does a fantastic job. It's primarily designed as a plug-in product. So you would generally edit your raw file in another app like Lightroom or Photoshop, and then send it over here to go ahead and apply noise reduction. In other words, it's not really a raw processor, 
in the, in the vein of ON1 or DxO, but for noise reduction, does an absolutely fantastic job, as you can see in that last photo, and as you can see in this photo. Honestly, the noise reduction is fantastic. So this one, I think, is, number one, if you already have it, you don't need to go get the other either of the other ones. Uh, I feel the same way about all three. They're all really good, kind of spoiler alert. There's not one that just really blows the other things out of the water. I think at this point, all three of these are really good. DxO, which is on version 1 dot something, fantastic product. Topaz Denoise on version 3 dot something, fantastic product. And on one no noise AI, brand new version 1.0, fantastic product. But you can see here, amazing noise reduction. What you don't get is lens correction and things like that. You also would not be able to save it in the DNG format. You would have to save an export and TIFF or whatever other format you choose. Now we're over in On One No Noise AI. Again, you can check out my first look video there. It's a fantastic product, really does an amazing job. Here I am with that same photo. You can see nice and crisp in terms of the focus and the sharpness. The detail recovery is excellent, and yet ISO 10,000, the noise is honestly just gone and looks amazing. I think for a version 1.0 product, they did a fantastic job on this, and I love it. If you're already an On One user, this would be kind of a no-brainer for you. It's currently sold as a separate product, but of course, my understanding is that when they come out with a new version of Photo Raw, which is their all-encompassing, all-in-one product, that this will be integrated. So it would really be automatically integrated into your workflow once that occurs. So again, if you use On One as your primary editor, it's a no-brainer, I think, to have No Noise AI. Here you have a few sliders, uh, quite a few less than you have in Topaz, for example, and of course the ability to customize these. One of the nice things about it is these things adjust in real time on your image, so you can literally drag the sliders. You do not have to wait for it to calculate it, so it is much faster than Topaz, for example. It also does support Fuji files, so if you're a Fuji photographer and you use on one, again, I think this would be a no-brainer for you. And as I said, similar to DxO, this one combines the demosaicing with denoise to really give you a fantastic raw file output. Let me go ahead and click over to this sunset shot. And here you go. Here's a before and after. You can see, I mean, super noisy on the left. It's ISO 5000 handheld in low light. And on the right, just fantastic. Now, what you're not seeing is any optical module correction, but again, once this is integrated into Photo Raw, you have very powerful optics modules in on one as well. So again, you would have a combined product. And I think that's one of the key differences. If you're an on one person, I would use on one no noise AI, especially once it's integrated into Photo Raw because you literally have an entire ecosystem, very powerful with more things than you can imagine. The other thing that's different about on one is it has layers. And so Topaz would not have that because it's really designed as a plugin, I would say primarily. DxO does not have layers, but on one has layers. So you could basically add another layer of this photo and apply different levels of noise reduction to different parts of the photo and mask it in selectively, giving you fantastic, amazing control over your final image. You can also save as a DNG file. So similar to DxO, you can save in a raw format to take back either to your primary editor or to continue editing in on one if that is your primary editor. Similar to DxO, you can also save in DNG format. So that is a raw format, giving you a raw file to go further edit should you feel the need to. So that's it. That's a kind of a high level comparison of the three different products, all really good. And I think depending on your workflow, any of them would work fine for you. In terms of the final output, honestly, these products are all three so good that it becomes somewhat diff difficult, I think, to distinguish between what one looks like and the other. Now it can vary based on the file and the photo, but some of the key differences is that DxO, optics modules, saves as a DNG, noise reduction plus demosaicing, but does not support Fuji files. Topaz, primarily designed as a plugin, although it supports raw files, I was using it as standalone here, so you can absolutely do that with Topaz. Slightly slower, but it's, it's much faster than it used to be. It's on version three, continues to get updates, continues to be a good product, and I think a fantastic choice, especially if you're planning to use one as a plugin because it integrates so well with those other products like Lightroom, Photoshop, things like that. Several different modes to choose from, so you can pick which one works best. So 
that, that can be seen as either a benefit or a negative. Not really a very big negative. It gives you a lot of choice, which I consider good, but compared to how DxO and On One work, where you have fewer choices, you can just kind of focus in on getting the job done without trying to decide which model to use. So that could be construed as being a slightly more complicated, but I don't think it's a big deal. I just wanted to point that out. And of course, Fuji files are supported by Topaz. And then here with On One does support Fuji, includes demosaicing and denoising, which gives you fantastic output, saves as a DNG file, will be integrated into On One Photo Raw in the future. And so you would literally never need to leave On One to do pretty much anything you would ever want to do to a photo. And it has layers so you can customize, which is really unique and I think makes it stand out from the other two in some regard, is that you can customize the amount of noise reduction in various parts of the photo based on being able to mask it in using different layers. So very powerful, very cool and interesting feature, I think. So hopefully that gives you some idea. Again, all three great products. You can't really go wrong. I think it depends on your workflow, what your needs are, and potentially if you shoot Fuji, then you know, unfortunately DxO is not gonna be an option for you, at least in the native format. I guess theoretically you could save that as a DNG and then use it. But anyway, that's it. That's my comparison of the three DxO Pure Raw, Topaz Denoise AI, and of course On One No Noise AI. Great products, noise reduction these days is fantastic. I'm really happy. I think we're living in a great time where we have all these amazing choices of these really powerful software products that do amazing things for us. Hope it uh, gives you some ideas, my friends. And um, I'm happy to try to answer any questions if you want to leave, leave them down below. And I'll see you soon. You guys take care of yourselves and adios.